So, hey everybody, how's it going? It's me, Mork, and today I decided to just play some more Inscription. Uh, again, I'll be playing... Um, this time I'm actually feeling like I'm just gonna play with a random deck and like we'll see where that get gets us, you know? Uh, so yeah, let's just choose like a random one. And again, I'm just gonna play on 120 rating. Um, I mean challenge points because that's kind of like my preferred way of playing. I like playing with rares as well. Like getting a rare is not always a guaranteed win. So I think it's reasonable. And I like Clover as well. Which puts us like at a, rank, at a nice challenge point of 120. So uh, let's go. Ooh. The Curious Egg. Alright. Um, hmm. I don't know if we're gonna be trying to make, like, Chimeras work. With the Curious Axe, you kind of want to pick cards which have, um, which can eat the Axe, especially at the start. So I think I'm definitely picking up Wolf here. Uh, the Wolf here could be, like, also the potential candidate. Uh, to get him up to the uh, 5 attack. And then I could also, if I manage to get him up to the 5 attack, I could also then pass the egg, uh, egg sigil on him. And then, like, if this wolf transforms, it's gonna keep the plus 2 attack uh, that I got from the wolf. Oh, oh, oh. The other thing is probably gonna be a skink, to be honest. I think I'm just gonna grab the skink and we're gonna hope that the wolf manages to carry us throughout like the the first parts of the game. And the skink, we're gonna grab skink because skink has like a uh, potential for some uh, game breaking uh, combos. So I think let's just go for the wolf. I'm just gonna pick a skink and we'll see how it goes. Um, we have a flame here. I don't really want a rat pack. I could transfer the the curious X sigil on the wolf already. Oh, we have also back here. Hmm. Let's just go here, I think. And I think we'll just pass this sigil on the on the wolf. Make the deck a little bit more consistent. Mm, birds. Mm, okay, I, I messed up here. Because <laughs> I wanted to attack the beehive there. Um, I think I can just do this and tempo out the wolf. And I should be fine, I believe. I mean, almost there. I think I'll just go here. I think I just need, like, a little bit more cards. Um, at Paul. Um, uh, the worker ant as well. I don't think I like any of these, to be honest. Uh, I want like something with a bigger punch. Um, I can grab the mud turtle. I don't think that's a bad idea. Oh, but do I want to like pass the sigil to anybody? Not really. Um, I think I'll just pass the the second curious egg to the mud turtle and be okay with that. This means that we're also keeping the mud turtle, of course. Not something I necessarily want for this kind of a deck. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So we might have just won, but um, 
Like, this is like incredibly powerful uh, thing for the skink to pass the cockroach sigil on him. So that's gonna be like our next thing that we want to do for sure. And we also got plus one attack. I can start working on this wolf to be honest to get to get him to that like uh, five attack. But there's also like some sense to giving plus one attack to the skink, and if we give plus one attack to the skink, then he's gonna be able to. Uh, I mean, the tail is gonna be able to do deal like one damage, and it's gonna be like for free. So that's really powerful as well. I suppose if I'm playing the the Chimera deck, then I should be trying to go for the Chimera, you know. But I actually think like the better play is going here for the Skink, and making like the Lizard Tail into the Cockroach here. Uh, let's do the Wolf, and we're not gonna like risk it because. Uh, not worth it. Okay, we're going this way. 100%. There's no other way. Mm -hmm. Okay, so they're gonna be moving. So I can just start with the skink here. For good, I still have the cockroach in my deck. Oh, I forgot that I'm also taking 1 million damage. <laughs> uh, let's just grab our wolf, shall we? Our super wolf. Uh, we don't have any bird, right? Birds are pretty alright as well, I believe. Um, the insects might just give us like some kind of an end. I think I'll just go for the bird because there is a chance. Like the worst bird is gonna be always the lumbergeier or however you pronounce it. And the second, I mean the best bird that you're gonna get is magpie. So I'm just gonna go for the bird and we'll see what we can get. Okay, we got a sparrow. That's fine. Ooh, so we got plus one attack, and I think we're, yeah, we're just gonna give it to the wolf. So we have a five attack creature already. Yep, and we're gonna give it to the skink. And this should be really, really powerful. This fight should be relatively easy. And I think I'm also gonna like pull my tooth out for this one so that I get rid of this. Uh, so the biggest misplay I can do here is play the wolf right away. I cannot do that because he's my victory condition. Uh, for the next round. I will just keep drawing uh, from our deck. We'll give him an Aqua Squirrel. And I think we're just gonna win with this Lizard and this Mud Turtle. And let's pause again. Sacrifice both of these. Oh, I forgot the uh, the skink is infinitely. Uh, I mean, comes back to my hand. That's fine. I think I should pick the strange larva here. And I'm gonna tell you why. It's because the strange larva here has free health already. 
So this is going to be our target uh, that's going to get 5 health uh, to activate the Chimera Egg. And it's also an insect, right? So I think it's it should be like Strange Larva, 100%. And we'll still look for more campfires if possible. Okay, it's a good thing that we got rid of our tooth. Uh, so that we can like get more stuff for our backpack. I think I'll go with, for this one since we have, what do you call it? Um, we have the clover, right? So I still need like a free attack creature. And a four attack creature. Oh, 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 oh. I cannot pick this card, this card is useless. Um, but this turkey vulture has pretty good stats. Um, for what I want to do. Hmm. And I'm gonna. Like, I'm gonna have, like, a skink that's gonna be dying a lot, right? Maybe we can even get, like, this turkey vulture to for, uh, for attack here. Uh, the biggest problem with turkey vulture, though, is that it has, uh, eight bone costs, so it may be, like, a dead draw. But I'm gonna, like, grab it for the sake of, like, uh, trying to activate the Chimera X. Let's go here. Oh, we have an, another backpack coming up, which is kind of a shame. Uh, yeah, I think just this is the best. And the next best is a squirrel, I believe. So this is this this was like a good reason why I should have picked the damage on the skink. I think I should be drawing from this pile. Okay, we have another backpack coming up. So I think I think it's okay to just use this, really. We'll grab our strange uh I will grab our wolf. And let's also grab the squirrel here. Oh we could do it like this. Yeah. Mm. Oh, okay, that's fine. I think I'll still go for these cards. Ooh, we got a magpie. I think I just have to take it. And maybe I think we'll probably pass the magpie on the sparrow here. Maybe the strange larva even. Probably the sparrow. I have to take this. Okay, so we can duplicate a card. Uh, we could duplicate our wolf, or we could duplicate our skink. Uh, the skink would would have been like more valuable if I had like more attack on him to duplicate. But um, what do we have coming up? Okay, yeah, that's perfect. 
and I'm gonna pick this one, I guess. I don't know if the strange larva is going to uh, survive like free porcupine attacks. So I think this should be fine. So right now I'm gonna take 2 4 damage. So I should be fine. Uh, let's see if we can get something better. Magpie. I don't know if I win just yet. I'm like uh, one off. Can I search for something which would make me win? I don't think so. Wait, no. I mean, we'll, we'll search for something for sure. Maybe I just grab the skink. Uh, I I should just grab the skink, and we just win with skink. And Mothman is just gonna do his job of equalizing the board. Okay, this is fine. We get a wolf, and yeah. Oh, I win. Okay. Good. Uh, I should take the wild bull because I don't have the I don't have the thingy yet, and it's like a free attack creature, so I can either decide to make turkey vulture or the wild bull a four attack creature. Oh, nice. I guess we're gonna be like sacrificing the sparrow in the future. Okay, let's just count my stuff. So we have one health here. That's one, two, three. Uh, this guy could be like uh, this guy could be like four, and then this guy could be like five. I mean, this guy could be five. Okay. Uh, let's count the attack. So we have one. Well, we have one. We have two. Uh, we have three. We have potential 4 and we have 5. So we are very very close to activating the Curious Egg. I think I should duplicate the Wolf because I already have 2 attacks on him. But... Having 2 Skinks might be just more consistent overall. Like this Skink just might save my ass more often, you know? The problem with the skink is that he's not going to save me from the flyers. But he's definitely going to save me in the final fight. 100%. Or I think he might. So in the end it actually may be like better to try uh, getting the skink duplicated. If, the, if, if he changes the sigil of the skink, we might be able to combine the skinks into something more interesting, something maybe better. And I would be like more willing to combine two skinks uh, rather than um, two wolves, right? Because combining two wolves just ruins the stat line for me. I'll go with the skink and let's just see what you do. Okay, it's okay. Mm, we have this coming up. Oh, but I should go for the flame, 100%. I don't really have any... Okay, okay, so we have the combo. Oh, and we also have like strange larva. Mm. 
Mm. I think I should do this first. First things first. And then I can play my strange larva. Or maybe I just play my wolf instead. I have to kill the raven egg right now. Like, I think I should. I really should do that. So I should grab this. I should grab the wriggling tra uh, tail. Uh, play these two. The bull is gonna kill the raven egg. Uh, now the tail uh, is gonna go here. The strange larva is gonna go here. Oh, and I can do the same thing again, right? So I can do this. And this is why this combo is like incredibly powerful. And then I can grab another uh, wriggling tail. So I shouldn't have drawn the aqua squirrel there. Oh, and look how many bones we have as well. It's just from all the uh, skink killing. Uh, so what are we missing? Uh, we have the insect, uh, we have the bird, we have the buck, we have the lizard, and we have the wolf. So I'm not really missing any. I don't think any of, the, of these are relevant to me. And I don't think I necessarily want another wolf because I don't want to get a wolf to combine it with this one. Uh, maybe I'll just grab an insect. Or not. Just grab some lizard. Mm, okay, so I can combine the mud turtle and I can make the mud turtle for four. And then it would be kind of like the wolf. It's, this would be like the alternative play. I don't think this was a bad idea. Okay, so I can get rid of the sparrow at this point. I don't want it. Let's get rid of it. And we're gonna give the sacrifice to the bone lord. I'm sorry. I will go for the flames. Uh, hopefully it's the health. Cool. We got a health one. So we're gonna put it on the... We'll put it on the... the, 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 the where are you? The strange larva. So at this point, I think the play here is to try to combine these mud turtles because it's going to be very, very powerful for if we manage to hatch the Hydra because the Hydra is just going to start with three attacks and that's going to be very, very good. So in this case, uh, it, and in that case, it would be also our the four attack and four health creature. So we would have uh, one and we wouldn't have a two anymore. But we could make the skink into the two, like I was saying. We can also combine the skinks. And in that case, magpie would be one. And then try to get, uh, find something with two attack or something like that. Okay. Uh, this fight. This fight might be very easy if I get like the skink stuff, right? We we'll get the skink combos off. Immediately. So I got strange larva instead. Uh, I think I should play it like this. Um, And we'll see what we can draw next. Coming up. Okay. We get the wild wool. Um let's just continue. At this point I think I'm drawing this. I think I'm supposed to do this. I 
and we're gonna be at one health. Okay, um... We got a magpie. I think I'm supposed to go in with uh, my strange larva at this point. We just sacrifice the bull and it's just gonna give us some time. Uh, yeah. It's gonna give us some time to draw these cards. And try to find our uh, lizard combo. Kill the wolf. Uh, this is kind of bad. I think at this point I have to start drawing the squirrels. And the Mothman is just gonna die. I can just pass. I'm not in a rush. Okay, we got the infinitely sacrificable skink. But before we use it, we should chill a little bit. I think we'll go with the turtle. In case just something comes up here and the turtle has defense. Okay, now we want to duplicate, I mean, get like the skink tail. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. I will go for the magpie. Uh, let's go for the turkey vulture as well. And we should be good, more or less. I can also start like going in at this point. Yeah, like it is. And yeah. And we'll replace the magpie with the turkey vulture. I could also like play Lammergeier with the skink, to be honest. It's an interesting idea, I guess. Yeah, let's just... Let's play this. Yeah, and this is just a lethal, no matter what. So I just get rid of these, of course. Right. Let's just end the turn here. Five health creature, we don't need you. But amalgam. I can grab this. In case we have find like some kind of crazy totem combination or something like that. Okay, speaking of totems, I have to go this way. Oh, but I would actually prefer going like through these caves. 
All right. Oh, it is what it is. I don't want to pack rat. That's like the worst thing. Ooh, coyote. Uh, coyote is not bad. Coyote is not bad for this deck right now. He would be like the two attack creature after we combine the mud turtles. So it's not that bad. I suppose I'll get the coyote. We're gonna go to the totem carver, of course. I mean, wood carver. Oh! I mean, that's like more X, right? So. I don't know if this is good or not. Because my guys aren't flyers. This is very good for the flyers, but... <laughs> I don't think this is gonna be good for a Hydra. Because Hydra is just gonna instantly kill the egg and it's just gonna break it. Um, it's a shame we didn't get like a lizard head so that we could like maybe try to have some crazy skink. Uh, combos. If I'll be passing around the sigil, I'll be probably sacrificing the magpie for it. So... And if I'm, if I'm gonna be like passing the magpie sigil, I'll be probably passing it on the strange larva here. Or I could pass it even on the mysterious egg. Because it, this is like... A thing that I can draw on turn one, and this is also a thing I can draw on turn one. And I want to draw on turn one the skink. And this could help me find the uh, find the skinks. Stabilize. Um so because of it I'm just gonna probably grab this one. This is pretty difficult totem. To, uh, to fight. Oh, okay. We just got like two pork pines. That's not very scary. And yeah, and we got the combo, so we're fine. Oh, but the dire wolf is scary. That's fine. Coyote. Uh, not yet. Or could I do it? Yeah, already. Into this. I should do this right now. And then the coyote here can go here, and the skin can go there. Yeah, we got another wriggling tail, so we're cool. Um, yeah. Okay, we got a wolf, so he's gonna kill the dire wolf. So that's perfect. Oh shit! I forgot about that. Oh, he's gonna now kill my wolf. Oh no. Yeah, this is bad, but it's also okay, because we're overpowered. Uh, I can get the turkey vulture. Yeah, that just ends the fight, right? Yeah, it does. Oh. Cool. 
We'll try to pass this one because we might get something good. Oh, no. oh yeah, probably the sigil one. It's usually the easiest one. Oh no. Oh, we got it. <sighs> probably this mantis, really. I don't know if it's good though. Not really. Or maybe I actually could go for the grizzly. Because I do have like the skinks. And the skinks are gonna be uh, my engine. Maybe let's grab the grizzly. And grizzly is also for attack, right? And we could also do one attack. Okay, so... Who do I want to buff at this point? I could buff the skink. Like I was saying. Um, okay, so we have zero. We have one. We have a two. Our here two. We have a three. And we don't have a four. We have a four now as well. Do I have... All the attacks and values. Um, no, I'm still missing health. So it would have been better for me to get health here. Mm. But I still can combine the mass turtles. And that's gonna give me the health. So for now, I should probably just give my skink plus one attack. So that the tails can start attacking. Or maybe I just give it to the curious egg at this point. I think this makes more sense. I'm gonna keep take it. We will be removing some kind of a card from our deck. Oh, that's I think we can do it because we have the magpie's glass, right? We can do it because we have to max max dice class. Hmm. Should I just look for it immediately? I feel like I have to. So we look for the skink. Go for the magpie. I suppose here. Mm, I can go for the mud turtle and the wolf. Maybe I'll just go for the wolf at this point. I think the wolf just wins. Right? Yeah, it just wins. Oh, I forgot about the suicidal guy. Okay. 
But uh, we have the Grizzly. We can put the Grizzly here. And we're gonna be fine. Got a mud turtle. So let's just get the most damage that we possibly can. So we sacrifice this grizzly and the skink. And we get the turkey vulture in. And we should be good. Uh, still no mycologist, I see, which kind of sucks. I guess we're gonna add even like more creatures, I guess. Uh, this wolf cup. Oh. Infinitely, infinitely sacrificeable kingfisher, uh, which has a backpack. Or we could get a suicidal wolf cup. I think I'm gonna go for the kingfisher. We have just used our backpack thing as well. Oh, and we have a mycologist here. So as uh, as long as we get the mycologist, we should be fine. And we're just gonna combine the two turtles. And which card do I want to remove from my deck? Maybe it could be even the Kingfisher. I think the Kingfisher might be like the weakest card now. Or maybe the Amalgam. No, I think this Kingfisher doesn't do... or it's not gonna do enough. Uh, if I get rid of the Coyote, I lose a creature with two attack, because I'll be combining the turtles. I, I'm just gonna get rid of the Kingfisher. Or something like that. We also have a backpack coming up, uh, so I have to remember that. Let's go this way. Ooh. Um, hmm. Wrong horn. Oh, this should be fine. We're just gonna win with the larva, right? Uh, can't I just do it like this? Like, boom. This is why like, I wanna pass the search sigil on the strange larva, because I can draw it in turn one. gonna draw this and I'm gonna use this already okay. uh, yeah looks like I'm good oh did I mess up oh my god oh so much damage uh, but I'm fine
So let's go here. I don't think I want to add any more cards to my deck. We're gonna combine the turtles. And this should have our chimeras activated. Let's check it out. So we have, uh, we have one. We have a two. We have a three. Uh, we have a four. We have a five. We have a one. We have a two. We have a three. We have a four, and we have a five. Uh, right here, I should be thinking about what am I going to pick against uh, the, the, the Leshy's fight. I think I should pick the clock. And probably a boulder. There you go. Uh, how many hydras do we have? Do you just use it immediately? Mm, I guess I can. Oh, shut up. I messed up. I messed up. Okay. Oh, now I I shouldn't have played it. I should have been like just more patient and just let the pack mule come in and get those cards because I'm like gonna be starving for for a hand. I chose like the worst possible line of play. Turkey Vulture, four, five, six. Um, I guess I'll just go for the larva here. And we have eight now, so we can play it. Yeah, it should be just fine. We even have the skink. And we just win. All right. We have some consumables for the Lushy fight. And we'll pass the sigil, the magpie sigil. A uh, long elk should be playable. The Douse? No. Another Amalgam. Mm. I'm feeling the Long Elk more than anything. What about the Douse? Mm. Maybe the Douse? like try to stall a little bit but long elk also does like a good job at stalling long elk also does a good job at stalling so i think i should grab the long elk and the long elk uh, can kill the mole man which is important uh sacrifice yeah, we're gonna pass the magpie sigil on the strange larva in case our first draw is gonna be the strange larva.
Nice. Uh, so we just win. That's pretty good. Um, yeah. <laughs> I could play the long elk, but... Yeah, it doesn't matter. I just had the Hydra. Peyote. I mean, I guess I can start farming the skinks. Oh, I think I just killed it. Yeah. Oh, that was pretty good. I believe we haven't lost, uh, we haven't lost once, so, but I think I played it really well with, like, how we distributed the eggs, and we ended up with actually some really powerful Hydras at the end, because they had, like, the additional attack from the flames, so, I think that worked out really well, yeah. Alright, I think I'm just gonna, like, back it up here, and I'm just gonna go to sleep. So, uh, yeah.